fitness competition thing in T-Neck, right? So I popped in there and checked everybody out. And while I'm there, Big Baby shows up. And, you know, Big, big Baby, big heavyweight fighter, you know, and uh, he, he seen me come out with Deontay Wilder. So he's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. I want to fight. And I'm like, okay, now, I, people Deontay kept told me that they fought before and they gave him a mild concussion. So I'm like, yo, you sure you want this fight? And he's like, what? Like, he's like, yeah, like, I spoke with him mad times before. Yo, Keith, I'm, I'm going to knock him out. Like, I'm like, Okay, so now, I'm, when he tell me he's going to knock him out, I'm like, so what's, what's really going on? I'm like, somebody lying to me, man. He, he, Deontay ended up telling me that they, the boy had a mild concussion, like he put, put some, some pain in on that boy, right? Then I run into him, and he tell me he's ready for the fight. He said he did spar with him one time after coming back from running, and he was dehydrated and everything, and he went home. And then he said, that little, the pretty little Asian girl that Deontay be with, I'm like, his, his, his girl? He said, yeah, yeah, his girl. He said... I bust up first, man. like I was fucking her first, and maybe that's why he is not like, he's like oh, this shit just came out of nowhere, blood. Like it was out of nowhere, cuz <laughs> for real, this shit just came out of nowhere. And then he just, I'm like, what the fuck? And he go, nah, I was fucking up, I was fucking up first. You know, maybe he got it and thought that that was something special because you know he's a country nigga. Like then we from New York, so shit is different, man. And I'm like, yeah, I think I understand what you're saying. Check this shit out. This weekend I go to the. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what's the deal? You are now in tune with Trey Donovan. Hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell. It's free and it helps me out in the algorithm. Now, it appears Deontay Wilder has been blindsided. Well, I won't say blindsided. There's no way he didn't see this coming. Um, cause it appears that he removed his fiance from his Atlanta home. So, or I'm sorry, from, yeah, from his Atlanta home. Um, so it appears that this has been brewing for some time now. Um, and it, it looks like she was waiting for the perfect time to file for a restraining order, um, against Deontay Wilder. And it's just unfortunate because, you know, Deontay Wilder's putting a lot of work as a heavyweight champion of the past, title holder. And I know he gets a lot of flack for, you know, not having the techniques he should have as, you know, a boxer of his status. But, you know, he got the job done for what it's worth. And he entertained the people. So, with that being said, let's give him a gladiator's theme. I have a lot of respect for Deontay Water, so I'm not gonna, um, you know, slam the dude or try to make fun of him. However, I will make, try to teach a lesson because, you know, Trey Donovan's in the business of educating and entertaining. So there's gotta be some value to the content. Now, it, it appears that these athletes seem to fall under the same reoccurring theme of selecting the wrong woman and demonstrating poor discernment. And it appears Deontay Water has followed suit. And I don't know, it's so much red pill content out. It's so much, you know, content out for men to be able to digest and look at themselves in the mirror. So I know he's been kicking himself in the ass you know, for, you know, selecting this woman and probably procreating with her without formalizing the union. And that pretty much just creates blab, bad blood when there's no communication and there's no clear direction for the relationship. And it appears from the preview that she was an industry 304. So that's never, ever a good mix because, you know, as the popular quote says, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. No matter what your status is, no matter what you think you bring to the table, no matter how much you value yourself, you know, you can't get other people to see what you see and act accordingly. And unfortunately, Deontay Waller is going to have to deal with the aftermath of that. So let's go ahead and get a track going. Stephen A. Smith chimed in. You know, and I, 
I know Deontay Water just got KO'd by Zili Zhang, who's another heavyweight in the game, who honestly outweighed Deontay by, I think, 60 pounds. He, he had no business being in that ring. So that just goes to show that Deontay is kind of just out there showing, you know, not the best discernment and making the best decisions, but he may be in a tough spot given the fact that he has eight children and he's having a split up child support most likely amongst those eight children that stuff adds up so he's probably taking on risks unnecessary risks to stay ahead of those bills and the you know push the family forward so Deontay Wilder's in a pretty tough spot can't say he didn't create this this situation for himself but hey it is what it is hit that video if you are hit that like button if you are watching the video because it helps me out and the algorithm's kicking my ass right now when i first started this channel it was you know i thought the trend was was looking upward but then you know the algorithm kind of shut the door on me so if you're watching this hit the like button it helps me out now let's continue so let's go over the reaction view so we can see what stephen a smith is talking about um as far as his retirement because I think this all goes into it as far as being a professional and having the right people around you so you can make sound decisions and not be in a mental place where you're having to make decisions like this. So let's see what Stephen A is talking about. And that's involved in the sport of boxing and former heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder, who got KO'd this week. Yes, there was another fight Saturday. It also ended with a fifth round KO. And that unfortunately That's as quick as loss. In Riyadh. That's how you know he's on the decline. That's definitely how you know he's on the decline because of that quick because of that the quick KO. Saudi Arabia. You gotta at least go While the distance the as a former champ. Know how to pronounce his name. Zili Zhang. That's how it looks out. Yeah, Zili Zili Zang. Zang. I mean, he's a tough cat, His but he's not a lead. With 22 knockouts, by the way. Zango out. In Deontay's Wilder, prime, he would have knocked this dude out. Scored the biggest win of his career and might have effectively ended the former heavyweight But not 60 champion. pounds of a way. I don't know about China that. China Zang, who's 41 years of age, connected with a perfectly timed counter right hook that spun Wilder in a daze. He then followed with another right that sent Wilder to the canvas. Wilder somehow got to his feet before the count of 10, but his legs weren't steady, and the referee wisely waved off the fight at 151 of round five. It's time for Deontay Wilder to retire. It's over. So that's, that's Stephen A's take on Deontay Wilder's career and how it should end. He, he thinks he should retire, and Deontay Wilder's mom actually wrote him a letter. <laughs> You know, like Deontay, Deontay Wilder's mom publicly put out a letter asking him to retire so he doesn't, you know, get more CTE than he already probably has. Because that last knockout was pretty bad. Once you get spun around to like look at the ref and then he like hit him again to finish him, that's like, bruh. Sorry, business. But, um,. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. Now let's let's go over to the article. Let's let's read what's going on here. Deontay Wilder's fiance granted restraining order amid domestic violence allegations. A judge granted Deontay Wilder's fiance Telly Swift a temporary restraining order against the boxer on Monday after she said he physically and mentally abused her a number of times over the course of six years. <laughs> The temporary restraining order means Wilder must stay at least 100 yards away from both Swift and their six-year-old daughter until June 25th when the pair is slated to appear before a judge to determine the next step. Swift, who has been engaged to Wilder since 2018, goddamn, six-year engagement, said the boxer threw her out of their Atlanta residence on April 15th when even though she had recently undergone surgery. Uh-oh. So now she's like playing the sympathy card. This is what women do. Not saying she is or isn't a victim, not trying to victim shame or victim blame or anything of the sort. All I'm saying is the timing is impeccable. And for someone to have Stockholm syndrome for six years, I mean, I don't know when the abuse started, but uh, I don't believe this shit. <laughs> 
she and her she and their daughter have been living in their Los Angeles area home, but she remains fearful that water will become violent with her upon his return from a fight in Saudi Arabia. See this thing, this man's like six eight, so like any kind of abuse, like we're gonna know about. He's a six eight professional heavyweight boxer. Like if he like really wanted to do something to you, you would be able to see the aftermath of it. So she's alleging that water um choked her and spit on her i believe deontay is capable of being physically violent towards me upon his return in june because he has expressed that he is furious with me since april and has been physically abusive with me in the past she said so i've also said water has been spying on her with with a surveillance system set up in the los angeles area home <laughs> like you just get the mickey mouse laughs because this is some mickey mouse shit like why wouldn't you have surveillance in the home and why wouldn't you watch your surveillance for someone you don't trust and protect and you're trying to protect your stuff so you're trying to protect your stuff so hold on i gotta answer this if you're trying to protect your shit and with los angeles being a you know crime rents uh a crime prevalent city or crime prevalent county i would say you know, having surveillance system in, on your property is mandatory at this point. And as someone who's been burglarized before, like I can honestly say that if you don't have surveillance in your home and you're not checking it periodically, then you're most likely not doing adequate risk management. So that's pretty much that. She said Wilder choked her at least five times since 2018. So she's been keeping count. So these kind of sound like, you know, sexual encounters, but uh, yeah, these definitely sound like sexual encounters. Nearly suffocate her by shoving her face into a pillow for an extended amount of time. She also said he spat on her multiple, multiple times, frequently ridiculed her, and expects that she will have sex with him three times a day. See, this is like that common red pill shit, like, and they weren't even married. So th that's the thing, like they weren't even married. So, I mean, he kind of dodged a bully here. He don't have to deal with her no more, aside from the fact that they have to co-parent their child, but he has eight other kids, so. What the hell is one mo when you already got seven of them motherfuckers? Oh. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. All right, we gotta get the bangs going. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Let's see, so where we at, okay. What's more, she said, Wilder sent out disturbing messages to her personal and professional contacts in April after getting access to her laptop without her permission. This comes after Wilder lost to Zili Zhang in Saturday's fight in Saudi Arabia. Zhang won with the fifth round knockout. So yeah, the timing's impeccable. The man's at the downturn of his career. You know, she's kicking rocks. That's what most women do. For the most part <laughs> it's unfortunate but you know women don't intend to stay in relationships long term for the most part i know they kind of give the impression that that's what it is but unfortunately that's not the case women are looking for the exit for the most part especially if they see some shit they don't like they're most likely not going to stick around they're highly sensitive to you know disapproval of you know certain characteristics within the person they're dating and it, that's even more prevalent now that they're this whole feminist wave has transcended and you know put the battery in women's back you know to push this independence narrative so women leaving their relationships is the independence that has been are the independent narrative that has been pushed amongst modern women so we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this as time presses on and women have to um pretty much either cooperate with the men that they choose or exit the relationship and it looks like they're choosing not to cooperate um after six years and a child. Uh, hold on, let me get it. 
Should have kept your lace cause you don't you don't look the same. I can't Hold see on. her brain, not the bang. <laughs> yeah, in the club, she just got her hair done. Hell no, nah, girl, you need a refund. Where you going with that small ass butt? I was just playing, you looking lovely. Lead us a line and coming for me. I just spent some change, you been I come here with no what? Sorry about that. So yeah, that's pretty much um that's pretty much where we're at now. We got guys making bad decisions. Pretty much your mate will dictate your fate, and that's what Deontay Waters finding out. Um, I mean, you guys saw the preview. 50 let us know. She's an industry pass around. Uh, and guys got to get up out of that ego of thinking they're special in regards to women. Like, I don't, when I meet a, a chick or whatever, I don't ever, ever, you know, let my ego get the best of me or think a woman won't do me like she did the previous man. In fact, I think she's going to do me worse. So... Deontay, this is a, a lesson for you, a lesson learned. Um, hopefully, he can retire gracefully. You know, without any, you know too much more conflict, and hopefully, he can find a woman that you know really is in his corner. So, and that's pretty much it. Not to say that he's actually gonna be looking for one after this. You know, he's gonna have to recalibrate psychologically after that KO and. Dealing with this 304 who wants nothing but to, you know, drag his name through the mud. So, like I said, this is by design. I'm not saying he's completely innocent or because I, I don't know. I don't I'm not seeing everything. I'm not really paying attention to the relationship, but I just found this interesting, the timing of it all. And I worked in family law. I've seen this time and time again. And usually the woman's lying. So when, when they, when they maneuver with this kind of angst with no regard, and it was like, if you were terribly abused for six years and, and you're able to stand next to the man up until this point, it, it doesn't correlate. It, it's a lot of cognitive dissonance here. Um, I guess she's trying to paint him to seem like the villain in this whole story. I'm just not buying it. I'm at face value. And, and when it comes to women, I don't really believe them when they tell me stories uh, because a lot of it has a lot of it is gaslit by their emotions so a lot of the events that they may tell aren't consistent with reality a lot of it, it it's it it's manipulated by their imagination and their emotion so and their imagination is triggered by their emotions so this is a very interesting story Need to say the least. So it'll be interesting to see how Deontay bounces back. Do you guys think he will retire? Do you think he should retire? I think he should retire. I'm not trying to see this man get knocked out anymore. He's done his job in the boxing world. And that's pretty much it. So once again, it's your boy Trey Donovan. Hit that like and subscribe button. No, for real, hit that like button because <laughs> it's a struggle over here. It's really a struggle over here trying to get these views and these subscriptions, man, because the algorithm is not playing. They over here showing pet videos and the same, you know, skits over and over again, the same clickbait content. So help a real one out. Hit that like button, reshare the video. Um, I'm going to be dropping, dropping a lot more consistently now, now that I got the, the drop frames and the, the quality where I want it to be. So now I, I'm, I'm happy with the quality. I'm kind of a perfectionist and I don't like putting out bad content or content where it's not smooth and fluid for the viewer or listener. Um, uh, but yeah, other than that, it's your boy Trey Donovan coming at you with nothing but the truth. It's my true reactions. Drop a comment. I'm gone. Peace.